Hi friends, which of the following statement is incorrect about rifabutin when compared to rifampicin? Option A, longer T half. Option B, lesser drug interaction. Option C, higher bioavailability and stronger action against all mycobacterium. Option D, preferred in HIV patients. Let's compare these drugs, rifampicin and rifambutin. The mechanism of action is similar in both the drugs. That is, both of them inhibit DNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Out of these two, rifabutin is more lipid-soluble, hence it has an extensive tissue uptake, so a longer T-half, whereas rifambucin, the T-half is very less. But the bioavailability of rifabutin is very low, whereas in rifambucin, the oral bioavailability is very high. One of the advantages of rifabutin is that it is a less potent CYP inducer. As a result, the side effect and drug interactions are minimal, whereas rifambicin is a potent CYP inducer. Spectrum of action of rifambutin is mainly against a mycobacterium avian complex, whereas in rifambicin it is mainly against a mycobacterium tuberculosis. Let's have some more details so that we can solve more questions. Anti-tubercular drug choice in HIV patient taking a protease inhibitor drug is Rifabutin. Why? Because the rifabutin is a less potent CYP inducer, so it does not induces the protease inhibitor. As a result, the action of protease inhibitor will not be compromised. Some mycobacterium tuberculosis are resistant to rifampicin. About 25% of such cases are sensitive to rifabutin. A unique side effect of Rifabutin is polymyalgia and anterior uuatis. Thanks for watching.